Hello everyone. Welcome back in this new video where we are going to discuss very important topic as exporting of column and shear wall layout from ETAP software to AutoCAD and then that AutoCAD layout we are going to import in CSI safe software. So for better understanding of this complete procedure watch the video till the end. Don't forget to subscribe this channel, share this video with all your friends and press bell icon to be updated for new videos. Let's start. Now this is my ETAF model. On the right hand side you can see that this is the 3D view of the model and on the left hand side you will be able to see the plan view of this model. So here my intention to export all the columns along with the shear wall. So to export the column layout from the ETAF software you need to go to this file option. Once you click over this file option here the option you will be able to see as export. So once you go to this export option Another option is there what dot dxf oblique dot dwg file. You have to click over this option. Once you click over that option, a new dialog box will open under the title of ETAF's drawing generator. Here many options are available. Very first is what full 3D view model. Column layout plan, floor layout plan, beam elevation, column elevation, frame elevation, typical frame member section. All these options are available here. But uh, our intention is to export all the column layout along with the shear wall layout. So that option is not available here together. Here only the option is what column layout plan. So if you are going to proceed with this option. So what will happen only the column layout is going to be exported. So what to do to have both of uh, column layout as well as shear wall layout uh, we will see in detail. Okay so let's check first uh, column layout plan. With this option you have to go to select floor and object. You have to click over this option. Once you click over this option. So here by default what will be there. All the option will be checked. Here all the option by default will be checked. But our intention to export the layout from the ground floor plan. So I would like to deselect all of this. I want to export the column layout and shear wall layout only from of ground floor. Check this ground floor. Then what element you want to export from this ETAP software you have to check that. So here the option is what beam is checked uncheck this, braces is checked uncheck this, uh, frame, grids, uh, slabs. You may ask a question or you may tell me uh, the wall option is there if you are checking this wall. So wall will also going to be export but that will not happen. I will let you know later. So okay if you want check this. Okay being this option to be se uh, selected. Let's say simply OK. Once you click over the OK. Now here drawing option. Check this option. And I want to export this drawing in MM. So just go to this option. And check the option as MM. And nothing you need to do here. Let all the things as it is. Let's say simply OK. Once you click over the OK. Now go to browse option. And here I want to save this file. On the desktop with the title of ETAPS2. CAD layout. In this folder I would like to save this file as column layout. I would like to save here as column layout. Okay. Thereafter you have to simply say save. This is done. Now this is not the over of the work. You need to click over the generate DXF oblique DWG file. Once you click over that. So yeah the process is going to be start. And your file is now ready. You need to go to your folder. Here it has to CAD layout. Just open this folder. The DXF file format will be there. Under the title of column layout. Just open this file. Once you come in this AutoCAD. So nothing will be there. So what you need to do. You need to press Z enter and A enter. It's meaning that zoom all. Z enter and A enter. Remember this. Once you click enter. So what you will have the like uh, layout of your column. So here you can notice that uh, all the column layouts are present. But there is no presence of your shear wall. That's a problem when you are proceeding with uh, this option as column layout plan. Okay. So when you are proceeding with this option there will be no presence of the shear wall. So what to do to have this shear wall we will see in detail. But uh, here what uh, all the column uh, sizes are actually written here. 
and that actually not needed to be present here so what i want to do i want to delete all these uh, text uh, for the column sizes so select this and uh, i want to delete all of these so say after selecting this say isolate this i want to delete all of these uh, select all of this text uh, and simply say delete so all is now deleted only the column layouts are present there is a missing of shear wall layout so if you are going to import uh, uh, this cat drawing in csi safe software so what will happen there will be the presence of only the columns there is no presence of shear wall so that will not work try to understand so what we need to have we need to have the layout of shear wall uh, be present in this column layout so to do that you need to come back to etab software when you come to this etab software what we need to do we need to go with uh, this first option check this option and just go to like again select floor and object once you click over this option now i don't want to export uh, beams i don't want to export the braces i don't want to export the slabs okay i don't want to export anything even i don't want to export the column also i don't want to export anything but uh, actually we need to have the column reference for that we need to select this column option okay so make sure that while exporting for shear wall you need to take uh, check the column also and ground floor let's say simply okay once you click over this okay and uh, again go to browse option now i want to save this file by the title of shear wall layout okay with this title just say save this option and now uh, go to drawing option again make sure that it should be mm don't do the mistake it should be what in mm now say simply okay now again just click over this generate dxf and drawing option once you click over this option now the process is going to be start and it takes some time to complete and once the process gets completed you can go to your folder and you will be able to see a new file under the title of shear wall layout you have to open this file click over this file once you come in this autocad so nothing will be there again you have to do the same thing z enter a enter it's meaning that uh, zoom all so press uh, z enter and a enter once you click over z enter a enter you will have this layout okay so there is a presence of column layout there is a presence of shear wall positioning by the lines so our intention is what to have only the column and shear wall line so select this uh, center line that is not needed to have in this layout so say isolate select this all and press e enter so all that things is not deleted only the column layout and shear wall positionings are present but you may say that oh, with this option of e tabs that is what oh, full 3d view model our problem is not going to be solved in with this option there is a presence of column layout there is a presence of shear wall so what's the problem we can proceed with this option so no that is not right oh, because it is what it is the 3d model it is what 3d model that is if you are trying to export and import in csi safe software so that will not work try to understand so we need to have only the column layout see this is actually your column layout okay this is not the 3d model so we have to take oh, the shear wall position from here in this oh, column layout how to do this try to understand now i have to draw block for the shear wall so for that what i need to do i need to know the size of the shear wall what is actually the width of the shear wall so just zoom it and uh, just uh, right click over this so the size of the shear wall is 230 width width of the shear wall is what 230 now close it come back to your shear wall layout okay and uh, see just go to draw line here of any span and take the offset of it as 230 say enter just take on this side and make a block like this now from here from here it will be like this now select this all and say simply join to have the closed block once you click over the join now it is what closed block now take this from here to i would like to put it here at this point just uh, click over that and short it as per your requirement so now it is will be it will be like this now from this side just take copy of this and from here to here this is done next 
just a copy of this from here and uh, rotate it say rotate and from uh, check it from here and put it at this center and uh, okay at this start uh, or this center also you can put it uh, now from here just take it uh, take it and then uh, just put it uh, here okay this is done i can extend this uh, block to this edge i can extend this block to this edge okay this is done now to this side same procedure will be take the copy of this from here i would like to take it and let's put it here and uh, like uh, just extend it to this point also you have to extend this block to this uh, now short this block to this edge this will be now short this block to this edge this will be done now come to this side also short this block to this this edge and short this block to this edge now this is all done for this shear uh, shear wall same procedure you have to do for this shear wall also so i am going to do the same thing take this from here and just take it uh, and put it here okay so it is of short size okay it is right size just take it from here and take the copy and put it here this is done not take uh, this size of the shear wall this just a copy and uh, just i would like to put it uh, from here to here this is done take the copy of this from here and put it uh, here so now this is all done the middle portion is what remaining so and here also the same thing is remaining so what i want to do i want to take uh, this copy from here and put it uh, here also and the same i would like to put a uh, here so after doing all these things now the block for the shear wall is now ready block for the shear wall is now ready i would like to select this all uh, block for the shear wall uh, this all okay but before of that i need to draw this some reference line to take out uh, this uh, drawing this uh, uh, shear wall layout from this uh, 3d model file from this uh, 3d model file i want to take uh, like what blocks of uh, your shear wall and that we will put in column layout okay take this uh, take this take this also and this is also select all of this and this also this uh, this is also and uh, this also you have to select uh, this also you have to select after selecting of all these things uh, and also select this now i would like to press uh, control c control control c once press over the control c just come to your uh, 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 column layout file this is what the plan file final file and just uh, come here and just control v once you press control v now anywhere you can put it after that again select this all drawing and say move m enter now take from the reference of this and i would like to put it uh, here just put it uh, here now final layout of your shear wall as well as your column just go to this 3d it is what the plan layout is not the 3d model just go to plane okay top now next very very important step is before of importing this cad drawing in csi safe software make sure that all these blocks of your column and shear wall should be in one layer make sure that all these blocks should be in one layer so let's check the column layer so it is what columns and when you come to see the shear wall block so shear wall block is also in a column layer so that's a good okay otherwise uh, what you need to do select all of these blocks in once and make sure that all these blocks should be in what in a one layer as columns that is what very very important before of importing this cad drawing in csi safe software remember after this what you need to do you have to save this file with the new title as a final layout so what i am going to do uh, just go to save as and make sure that you have to save this file in dxf file format uh, to import in csi safe software so just go to this uh, and just go to this uh, uh, dxf so once you click over this dxf uh, change the title as uh, final layout okay make sure that uh, you have to change the name as uh, what final layout 
and save this file in dxf file format save this once you done this now close it okay open the save software it takes some time once it gets open close it also close this model explorer now go to file go to import in this import option dot dxf dot dwg file option is there just click over that once you click over that the option you will get as final layout okay the title of your file will be there you have to check that you have to select that and you have to say simply open once you click over the open a new dialog box will open and there uh, grids special joints lines so so here we want to import the areas okay so go to these areas and change from none to your required you have to choose your required layer because all the layout of your column and shear wall in the layer of columns so check this layer okay after that you don't need to do anything here make sure that the cat drawing unit so we know that our cat drawing unit is in mm that's why it should be in a, in mm if your cat drawing is in meter you have to check me, meter if cat drawing is in centimeter then you have to select centimeter if your cat drawing is in mm you have to check the mm once you select the mm let's say simply okay once you click over the okay now here the file is finally imported in your csi save software so this is the final procedure how you can export the etabs layout in autocad then how you can export that autocad in csi save software